it is unacceptable in a civilized society that the only time a poor person can get into court with a lawyer is when he or she commits a crime. The individuals that I'm coming in contact with through a layo, they often tell me that they can't get any help anywhere else. Many who are eligible for help never seek it. They don't know they have a legal problem. They don't know help is available or don't know where to go to for help. They look at the, uh, the legal system as climbing a, a, a mountain and they never get to the top of it. But a layo allows them to, to feel empowered. I grew up on the south side of Chicago and probably one of the most impoverished neighborhoods in the city of Chicago. I think many people uh, who come from impoverished backgrounds or backgrounds where they don't have a lot of access to the justice system think that the system is stacked against them because they have seen the system play out in a really negative way for people that they know, people that they love, or even for themselves. And a lot of times the reason that that happens is because they don't have the knowledge and information and resources necessary to make sure that the system works for them. When I was a prosecutor, uh, one of the things I saw on the defendant's side of the case was many times their issues stem from a lack of knowledge and a lack of information. I would often try to direct and steer people in a way that helped them to navigate the system so that they can do what they needed to do to get their driver's license back or fix their license plates and things like that. And unfortunately, in Illinois, um, driving with a suspended license and several other driving offenses are actually criminal offenses. I can think of many situations growing up and people that I saw trying to navigate the legal system who could have benefited immensely from the resources that ILEO provides. In any given week in 2021, ILEO will help about 85,000 people. That's the maximum capacity of Soldier Field and the United Center combined. 63% of Illinoisans find ILEO via their mobile phone, most between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. or on weekends when traditional offices are closed. Ileo serves more people in the dead of night than an average Starbucks store serves in a day. When I came into Ileo, I realized the information that they was giving out was, was not in my community. And Ileo was not in my community. I told my supervisor that Ileo was a well-kept secret. More than 60 million American families have incomes at or below 125% of the federal poverty line. 71% of these households experienced at least one civil legal problem in the past year. Low-income Americans seek professional legal help for only 20% of the civil legal problems they face. Only 13% of individuals looking for professional legal assistance search online. Being a community navigator, it made me stick my chest out a little bit more because I'm given information that is needed inside of my community. I'm able to help somebody ward off what they might think is an impossibility to show them that the possibilities are there. One of the uh, reasons that more people are not taking advantage of ILEO and everything that it has to offer is simply because they don't know that it exists. So we have to get the word out to the community in an effective way so that they know that help is out there, they're not on their own, and that there is a solution to the problem that they're facing. ILEO created a website with simplicity. It simplifies their journey when they're going through this maze of madness. And this is the beauty of a layup. You got a road map, you got a blueprint, if you will. And if you can stick to it, you'll be successful. I'm personally committed to the success of the organization and making sure that everyone knows about it and making sure that everyone has access to it and access to justice. Dealing with a layup allowed me a platform. It gives me that extra, mm, if you will to keep doing what I'm doing and to be able to share solid information makes me feel good because I see them feeling better. And I don't consider it my job as a job, it's my passion.